what's up guys welcome to another race video uh, we're going to adventure off-road park up in Tennessee it's the outlaw off-road uh, racing series finals so it should be uh, should be a lot of people there it should be a good time I'm about uh, five minutes away just pulled off the interstate it's about four four hours and 15 minutes uh, from my house but anyway Brian and Jessica and Ricky are up here already. Uh, Brian's gonna let me stay with them again. So uh, I didn't take the RV this trip, so it's just gonna be a quick race and then head home. And then we've got another 4th of July, five day trip, like three days later. So should be some good riding here uh, coming up soon. But uh, anyway, just wanted to kind of let you guys know that we're gonna start racing a good bit more. I know we've done three or four videos so far this year on races but uh, me and Brian and Jessica are going to really start racing a lot more next year and really want to do these videos you know that for any of you guys that race or any of you guys that follow racing know and watch the videos you know like Mad Ram and Busted Knuckle, High Octane Films those guys they do an awesome job cover you know every rider and you know it's it's some great great videos but we're going to start covering all the races we're gonna do it a little bit different we're gonna do kind of some behind the scenes stuff and uh, kind of stuff that you don't see on just the actual run so uh, look for that especially next year uh, like I said we're gonna do a lot more next year so um, hopefully um, hopefully they'll be entertaining and you guys will enjoy them along with our trail riding footage but obviously we're gonna keep doing that but uh, Anyway, hopefully it's going to be a good day tomorrow. The weather looks good. It's going to be hot, but it uh, shouldn't be too wet. So, hopefully we'll have a good finish. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks. We decided to come out here and look at the hills. Of course, tomorrow, and it's going to be a really good course. It's going to be a long, slow course. A lot harder than Chocolaca was. So, I'm going to kind of walk a little bit on the side-by-side. Uh, side by side course they got taped off So the way Outlaw does, they run two side-by-sides back together, uh, two different hills at the same time, basically. So the, there's a blue lane and a yellow lane. The yellow lane is gonna be difficult as soon as you leave the starting line. The blue lane is gonna be like a trail ride up to about the midway point. So you can see it right there. And then once you come down here, it gets a little tricky with this ledge here. And then it gets worse up there, but it's not going to be a extremely fast, fast course, but it'll be a fun course. I wish I'd had my, I kept my 32 inch Zillas on. Instead I'm running the 29 inch carnivores. Brian, did you bring your Zillas? We can take them off Jessica's buggy. Huh? So we can take them off Jessica's buggy. We don't have Jessica's buggy. Uh, we can take it off Ricky's buggy. So this is another ledge here. And then. Oh, wait a minute. Ricky is on Zillas now. Yeah, don't, don't be doing that, man. <laughs> I forgot. You got rid of them super sleeps. And then that's the finish line up there at the top for the blue lane. But it's going to be a slow course, man. There's going to be a lot of 
a lot of broke stuff. Hopefully I'm not one of those. It is race day. We're here. Lots of shade, which is nice. Definitely a good change from Chakalaka. The whole course is pretty much shaded. Uh, had driver's meeting. Uh, I drew third. Brian drew last, 26. There's 26 UTV drivers. And I didn't bring my Zillas. This course is set up for rock Zillas. I didn't bring my Zillas. I brought 29 inch carnivores. And me and Brian are gonna switch tires between runs since we're so far apart. So really need Zillas on this course. This stuff is like jelly here. So we're about to do a track walk now and uh, get to it. This is the start of Hill 1. And it rained for like 7 this morning. So it's slick. So if anybody watched any of our videos, our trail videos we did here last month, this place is like ice when it's slick. So this is going to be tough. But side by side take an alternate route here That's my goal. This is the UTV line, and it's wet. It's gonna be awesome. Out here at AOP. All right, we're here at the the track walk we are with wyatt wilson on, and mr brandon davis which i'll think of the course today still waiting on parts. what do you think brandon it's gonna be rough today it's gonna be it is gonna be rough it's really but it's fine good. until it rains yes we got a little shower this yeah. morning soaked everything up knocking wyatt, us down why it's going first I'm, I'm right behind first. him what i'm 11. 11. Yep. So, all right it's gonna be uh entertaining for the fans probably not high speed probably finishing is is gonna be Yep. Key. Hard enough. Probably a long day. It's gonna be a long a day. Yeah. Yep. Yep. A, a lot of breakage probably. Well, hopefully we won't get any more rain. No rain. Well, good luck today, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. What happened to Wyatt? You know, you come down the hill and you go over and go around the tree. He got like way to the left and saw him out. How did he do? Did he go in front of this tree or did he go down going down in that valley? stuff on the yellow line and I don't know who's on the blue can't really see the buggies very good I just know it's Ryan's turn on yellow so we'll uh, now that we got white cleared I think the course is, uh, is ready to go
uh, we're in the pits. What we're having to do is we've only got one set of zealous between their two buggies. And, uh, and now we're we flattened two of those, so we're uh, we're gonna try to fix this one. But we're swapping the tires from Brian's buggy back to Ryan's. Actually, probably what I might do is. And then uh, they'll end up back on Brian's. Ryan runs first again on hill two. And uh, then we'll put them back Should on Brian's buggy. Yeah, you needed if I crawlers. Had MRTs, I wouldn't be having flats. <laughs> also, you wouldn't have, up the hill, I you. wouldn't have finished the course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should have tried to plug in. <laughs> I didn't see a set of carnivores go up that hill. The Not one. Uh-uh. This is the wrong area for them. Yeah. She'd have my ass kicked for not bringing them, but I was thinking, well, I ain't got no way to tear them. You could have even... I thought y'all was going to a little car, so I thought... I'm well. sorry. They also said this was going to be an easy course, so... I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I expected. I mean, that's what's been posted. It's going to be easy. All right, so as soon as I get through running... I'm gonna we'll run, be right here. Pull up right behind Brian, park my razor under this buggy. I mean, under this. We'll be here waiting on you. Strategy. Because there ain't gonna be a lot of people running in Second Hill. No, I mean, there really ain't no reason for more than seven, eight people to run. After you do that blue course, Ryan, in 26 seconds, they gonna quit and go home. Hey. Finished. What was it? I finished. I'm looking good. That's all I got to do. I hear you. Hey, you know what the time was? I couldn't see it. They don't announce I don't know it they take a picture of it. No, they announced the first guy's time, and that's the only one I heard. Or the fastest. It don't matter, Ryan. I think you've got a big lead. We got another hole because of that. I mean, I know I'm biased and everything, but it felt like to me you were at least 10 seconds faster than anybody else. That's what I thought. I'm like three minutes. He thought he was slow. Four, four out there, I'm, sorry. I'm eight, four. It's three when I did yeah, yeah. So, but I was like, man, it felt like I wasted 20 seconds when I had to back up between them rocks right there. And I couldn't get back in high, so I finally just went low. Yeah. And you know what? The, the finish line was right here and I ran the furthest. I was trying to turn yeah. back, but that flat tire wouldn't let me. I ran like the furthest. You did, you went all the way to the other side. I couldn't get it to turn. Yeah. You, it, I, didn't, I couldn't figure out what was going on at the time, but then I, uh, I, when I started going slow, I was like, I got a damn flat. And see, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was because it was uphill and there, was a lot, there wasn't much weight on that tire, you know? That's what I thought, because I didn't know the tire was flat either. Like, if it would've went high and I could've went straight, it would've, I'd have knocked off a couple seconds right there. Yeah, I hear you. I fooled, with, I fooled with it trying to get it high too long. The first time it didn't go, I should have took off. I think. It wasn't noticeable. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, it may have been like what I did at the top trails. I was still in the gas backing up when I shoved it in the high. Yeah. And it put the thing in limp mode. Uh, trying you know, just brush yeah, it too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, four finishes on hill one. Four on two. Just four and four? Where Thor? are you at? You didn't get me on the bottom. Scroll up. 59? 41. Oh, 41? Damn, Brian. <laughs> I told you. He's got, well, he's got 18 seconds on everybody. 17 on this guy. No, he's got... Oh, that's 27. seconds on no, everybody. He's, no, he's got 18. 18. No, oh, that's different hill. One. Oh, that's different. Oh, okay. He's 41. The next lowest 106. is 106. He's got, you got a six. He's got a minute late. Minute. I told you you went up. A, I told you it looked fast. I said, feel it. man, if I could have kept my fast. steering and made that last corner, it would have been. You would have got made that 30 seconds. That's right. You would have. And Cody. Harlock, I think that was that guy in that RS1. If they don't finish hill two, all I gotta do is finish. I'm third in hill one. That a boy. Oh,
Minute two for Ryan, sweet. All right, guys, I apologize for the battery issues with GoPros. We didn't record any of our second runs on the Razors like we normally do. Didn't get a chance to see Brian's winning run on the second hill. Uh, the GoPro battery went dead. My fault. I, we, will not happen again. We will have extra batteries and extra GoPros. But to sum it up, you didn't see it, but the second run, Brian absolutely smoked it. Was it the fastest? Was it the second fastest? I don't know. But anyway, all he had to do was, I mean, he had 30 seconds or so on the next person. So all he had to do was finish, but he smoked it clean as hell. And uh, he won overall by 20 seconds or so. I don't know. So he is on top of the podium, did absolutely amazing. The course was crazy hard. Uh, I finished sixth overall, 26 racers. Not everybody. I'll, Probably 80% of the field didn't finish both hills, but yeah. both did that, so that was awesome. But top spot, smoked it. How'd it go, Brian? How did you do I it? I don't know. I'm just glad it finished, that's all I know. <laughs> and it, we yeah. busted three of Ricky's tires. Y'all, two of Ricky's tires, one of mine. Yeah. Uh, we busted them bad, so we're. <laughs> we. Uh, Maxis, we need a. Uh, the tire sponsor if you're watching this please <laughs> that's right <laughs> awesome job brian thanks sir awesome job john have fun absolutely yeah. what a joy to watch it was a it was a great day man you ran into me one all right next video will be brian on the top spot of the podium all right we're here with wade good who finished number one in the bouncer hills today We've got the number one UTV finisher next to me, Brian. So I'm surrounded by greatness right here. Wade, how'd it go? It went good. It was a super rough course. It was real wet this morning. They gave a big rain shower. But we drew a good number and it dried out. And everything worked out great. Yeah, Wade killed it. Uh, can't wait for y'all to see the footage. But uh, is this the hardest course you think you've seen it, in a while? Uh, well, it's my first year in a bouncer and this is definitely the worst cur course of the year. Uh, but I had a little different line than everybody else, and it worked out. So, well, good luck at Visions next week. Appreciate it. Thank you. Combined time of a 125, 115, 337. Mr. Carlock. Yeah, got it. 